Hey guys, Mike here from Jet Tech. Just gonna show you how to clamp the racks onto a SeaDo RXP hull, which also shares the same settings as a SeaDo GTI and GTR hulls prior to 2019. First, when clamping your racks on, it's very important to make sure you've got the right settings. So hole number three in the bottom hull support plate and option one for your top hull support plate. Rightio, so when clamping your racks onto the hull, come up and underneath the gunnel here, pull back on the inner jaw. You can notice that I've got it sitting all the way up the top and nice and flush. I've just done up one knob so it's secure. Then do both knobs up at the same time with even tension. Give the ski a bit of a shake. Then nip them up one more time. Very important to make sure that the racks are sitting vertical. If the racks are sitting slightly out or in, you've got the wrong sitting on your bottom hull support plate. So when they're sitting vertical, that's a correct fitment. Right, yeah, so when slotting your boards in, if you're using surfboards, you wanna make sure that you do wax sides facing each other and fins at opposite ends. You can notice that the racks are actually profiled there to match the surfboard profile. If you're doing a wakeboard, a kneeboard, and etc., you can go any way around. If you're just having one board, you're going to short the bungee on that side there and just go over. That's how you correctly fit your racks to your cedar. Um, you've freed up your leg room, your boards aren't getting cracked and damaged, uh, and you're not scratching your ski as well.